Hey everyone, I'm diving straight into a recent shocker that's left every football fan buzzing or fuming depending on where your loyalties lie. Let's talk about England's latest stumble on the international stage. Yes, just when we thought they were gearing up for Euro 2024 with all guns blazing, they've faltered, again, against Iceland. Now if history has taught us anything, it's that Iceland has this uncanny knack for playing David to England's Goliath. Recall Euro 2016? Yep, that stinger is still fresh for many. But let's break down what went down at Wembley this time. From the get-go, it was clear England had the weight of expectations on their shoulders. Pundits and fans alike had pegged them as the favorites. But as the match unfolded, those predictions started to look a bit premature. England's offense seemed all revved up with nowhere to go. Despite having stars like Harry Kane on the pitch, who, by the way, really should have nailed that shot inside the area after Cole Palmer's fantastic cross. But alas, it wasn't to be. The whole match saw England carving out fewer chances than a sculptor with a blunt chisel. Disjointed plays, missed opportunities, it was all there. Iceland, on their part, did what they do best. They absorbed the pressure, kept their cool, and frustrated the English squad. It wasn't pretty, but effective? Absolutely. They proved yet again that in football, David doesn't just stand a chance against Goliath. Sometimes he walks away with all three points. So what does this mean for England moving forward? It's a wake-up call, no doubt. With Euro 2024 looming, the team needs to regroup, reassess, and maybe, just maybe, rethink their approach to these supposedly smaller teams. Because in football, as we've seen time and again, there's no such thing as a guaranteed win. This match has undoubtedly left more questions than answers about England's readiness for the big stage. Can they turn it around when it counts? Only time will tell. But one thing's for certain. They need to find that spark, and fast, if they want to live up to their own hype. So, what do you think? Was this just a minor hiccup? Or are there deeper issues at play in the England camp? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more sports insights and updates. Catch you next time.